Today I'm going to go over something I mentioned in the last video, which is making custom tokens and then importing them into Owlbear Rodeo or using them for another virtual tabletop. The first kind of token I want to show you how to create is a rounded token from an image that you create on Hero Forge. Tristan and I built a character for our Saturday Morning War Tune stream that we do for his character Destructo. So I'm going to jump on to the Hero Forge website here. This is Destructo. All you have to do is come up to this button here with Destructo's name on it and it has a drop down and just come to screenshot and then just hit download and it'll download that image that you selected. So once we have our image saved, I'm going to come here to rolladvantage.com slash token stamp. So first things first, I'm going to choose an image that I want to put on here. Once you have your image drop down on their canvas, all you have to do is come up to the top left and select the border that you would like. They have different shapes, different styles, all kinds of different things that you can choose from. I think for this one, I want the border to stand out. So I want it to be a brighter red and you can immediately see on the right hand side, it's gonna be a rounded border with a clear PNG type of background. Now let's say I I wanted to zoom in on this image all I have to do is adjust the boundaries a little bit and right there I have a larger image of Destructo for my miniature you can see on the right hand side here what it is going to look like when I download it so that's all I really need to do super simple download that I'm going to have my own custom PNG file that I can import into something like Owlbear Rodeo Roll20 any service that you are using. You can even use it as an icon for something like a social media page or anything like that. So that's a really cool option for those of you that might be using Hero Forge already and want to take a character that you built on Hero Forge into an online D&D game. Problem is Hero Forge can take a while to build your character depending on how meticulous you want to be about specific details, colors, things like that. It gives you a lot of options and we'll go into that another time. But as far as making a quick, easy token, it can take a while for you to finish building your character on Hero Forge, get that screenshot, and transfer that file over just to add another border. If you want a PNG image that looks more like a physical mini on your virtual game board, I have a really great option to show you here. This is 2minutetabletop.com and this is their token editor that they have up and running right now. Here on their token editor, very simple, you can select the style of mini that you want to use. So you can scroll through all of the different options that they have. Uh, if you're a DM, you can send your players to this website if you're hosting a virtual game. Have them build their own custom mini and then send you the file. You can import it into whatever game you want and you have access to their miniature that they designed on your platform. Of course, because this is Behold, we are going to choose a Beholder to build. Once you find the mini that you want to choose, you get brought up to this drawing board type of thing here. And so you can select the colors that you want. So you can choose the different types of backgrounds that you'll have, either a shadow down below. So I wanna darken that shadow so it kinda of stands out. Yeah, perfect. Uh, you also have no base option, so it'll just be floating there. Or you can do the sticker outline, which kind of outlines the, the image. But because it's a beholder, because it's floating in the air, I like having that drop shadow. Next up, you can choose the different types of flare on your mini, the colors, things like that. And so once I'm done with that, all I have to do is save this image and it downloads for me. Perfect. And so once you have your token, it's time to import it into your virtual tabletop. Here we're using Owlbear Rodeo. So all you have to do for Owlbear Rodeo is hit this plus button and it opens up another window. This other plus button in there will allow you to import whatever images you have saved on your computer. I'm gonna take that beholder that I just made and bring it in, transfer it into Owlbear Rodeo. So now that I've got my new token imported, I'm just going to edit it really quickly. We'll give it a name, uh, Ridley. Ridley the Beholder. Uh, it's gonna be a character token. There are other options for tokens in Owlbear Rodeo. You can make it a prop, you can make it a mount or a vehicle, uh, which is really cool because then you can place other tokens on top of that mount or vehicle and move it around the map and it takes whatever is mounted on top of it along with it. And you can also change the default size. So you can increase that to two and it shows you exactly what it'll look like on the grid when you place it on the board. So I'm gonna leave that beholder as a two. It's a larger creature and I'm just going to hit done. And you can see now that I've got Ridley there on the side uh, for my token selection area. So let's drop a map onto here, a very easy sandy map. 
and we're gonna place Ridley on top of it. And there you see he takes up two squares. He's got his little drop shadow there. Uh, very, very cool option. TwoMinuteTabletop.com, their token editor. Very cool options available here. Okay, so now onto something really cool. I reached out to Ross at Two Minute Tabletop and he let me in on a little secret. This weekend, they released a brand new version of their token editor and he gave me early access to try it out so I can show it to all of you. And you will be able to jump in and do this as soon as this video is done. So this is the new token editor that should be out already on twominutetabletop.com. So here we are, a whole new revamped version of their token editor and I absolutely love it. I, since I got early access to this, I have been building tokens nonstop. Uh, I'm gonna go with <laughs> Legendary Ranger. I wonder who they're talking about there. All right, so here we have the Legendary Ranger uh, token that, that they have pre-built. But here's the cool part. You can customize everything about this token. So you can choose to change the color of the line. Uh, you can change even the hue of a shadow. You can change the color of hair. Then you can add other color elements to it. So you just have to look and see what is highlighted for each section and it shows you exactly what will be affected. And then the outfit color you can change as well. Uh, the body colors and then the base shadow as well. Uh, they also have palettes that you can choose from. If you want to make it cloth, very simple to do. You can also choose from different metallic colors that they've pre-selected. You can also go to skin tones that they have pre-selected. And then they also have uh, undead colors so you can choose. So there's all kinds of cool options for you to choose from in these preset palettes. Under the advanced options here, you can change the opacity of your miniature. So if you wanted to make it more of a ghostly apparition type of figure, you can do that here. Uh, you can change the opacity of specific elements. You can also change the opacity of the shadow effect. So look at the color, the pink color in his outfit here as I slide that up and down. So it kind of makes it a little more subtle on his outfit. So let's say you want to have a little bit more of an opaque base so that the uh, map shows through. You can select that there. I'm going to search Ranger on Two Minute Tabletop and it pulls up all of these other different options that are available. Different races, all of them looking like a Ranger. Uh, and it kind of varies as you go down, so it's not all gonna look the same. Let's take a look and see wizard options. So you have wizards that you can choose from. Now let's take a look at skeletons. So there's all kinds of different searchable options that you can use on this two minute tabletop uh, token editor that should just now be released. All right, so let's import our new ranger token that we have. You can see here I also added Destructo onto there. We'll call him Dripsit. Totally original name. And we're going to drop him on the board. Let's increase his size there just so we can see. Awesome, so you can see the opacity on the shadow carries over. The shadow will look like it's laid out on top of whatever map you have versus something like the custom token I made for Destructo. Let's increase the size of that there. Uh, so very cool design. You also have our Ridley Beholder here. We'll increase the size there. The drop shadow opacity again. I really like the faded shadow effect on that Beholder miniature though. And then you've got something like this wizard that I designed earlier uh, where we increase the size. You can see it's got a white border. A little hard to tell on this. Let's change maps. So there you have it. We have all our miniatures on the board that we just built today. You can see the different styles. So here I have the newest two minute tabletop mini with the new release that just came out up on the top. You can see I have two of the older versions uh, down below it. So a wizard that I made before I made this video and the beholder that I showed you guys how to make with the current version of Two Minute Tabletop. And then I've got the version that I made with that Roll Advantage token maker along with an image I took from Hero Forge uh, building a custom miniature. So lots of cool and fun options for you to try and also showing you how to import here into Owlbear Rodeo. Very simple to do. And if I had to choose which of these is my favorite method to use, I'm gonna go with 
Two Minute Token Editor from Two Minute Tabletop. Honestly, it is so much fun to just sit there and look through all the different options that they have and play around with that. Uh, but also very cool idea to use Hero Forge if you want to have a physical mini and a custom token. You can do the free version of that custom token that I showed you or you can subscribe for their pro version. So before we go away, I just wanted to take a look and see for my own purposes and maybe for yours as well, how much it costs for a Hero Forge Pro subscription. And it is not bad at all. So let's take a look here. You can jump over with me. $3.99 a month. That is $4 a month to make as many tokens as you would like. So many cool options. This is not that bad a price at all. They're unique borders. I really like their unique borders that you can choose from here. And, and the portraits, you know, I see a lot of people asking for artwork commissions and things like that on Reddit. But if you jump on and you get a month subscription to Hero Forge, you can make all kinds of cool little miniatures and do your own custom artwork with the miniatures that you design, pose, get into whatever positions you want. So I just wanted to say thank you to Ross over at Two Minute Tabletop for letting me have some early access to their new token editor. I had a lot of fun playing around with them and I made so many tokens for my online games. It is ridiculous. The quality that you guys have put out as far as artwork and the tokens that are available for free is absolutely amazing. So thank you guys over at Two Minute Tabletop and Ross for giving me that early access. And for all the rest of you, have fun, learn lots. Let's take a quick break and just say, happy birthday, mom. Yeah, um, today is also mom's birthday yeah yeah his mom my wife happy gonna, birthday allison i'm gonna try and teach her how to play video games today she knows how to play video games she really yeah i don't think she really does zelda though no